Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to the Icon Exhibition Centre here in Northern Ireland. I'm here for the Drifter Truck Show 2023. I've never been to this show before. Let's go in and check it out. Okay, so we walk straight in the door. We've got AutoSmart smashing looking Volvo there, the rigid. And look at this, this is from 1976. This is Dominic Newby's 1622 Mercedes. Now I actually had a short little drive of this truck in the UK around a car park. So that is on the channel, but this truck is in absolutely mint condition. And it's just as clean on the inside, guys. Spotless truck, well done to Dominic. And I would definitely say he drove it over here. It was not put on a trailer, I would say. But well done, Dominic. Truck is looking fantastic. Okay, we're just going to do a, a bit of a quick sweep. There are two warehouses full of trucks. There's about 130 trucks. So we're going to walk through. Now, they were pumping through a whole load of copyright music. So I'm going to have to go through and uh, hopefully they won't turn it up too loud. Very clean 164L V8 580 there from McLean and HP Holden Sons. Very nice FH there as well. I think he has the air up on the front and the back. We have this lady here giving the finishing touches to the wheel. The detail. Look underneath, guys. Get a torch. Find the dirt. You won't find any. <laughs> That's why he has the truck lifted up. So that you can actually look and see how clean the truck is. Unreal. <laughs> Very good. And then we have the high line there. Scania S580. Yeah, so I didn't bring up my S580. You know, it didn't make the cut, guys. These are all invitation only on these trucks. And then we have the 770 ST. I thought they just called these T's, not ST's. Yeah, the uh, Bulno Scania. And then the V8 480 beside it. This one has the stacks out the back. Pretty nice. Nice chassis work as well. This is all factory chassis work from Scania. And it's obviously painted over as well. So nicely done. Oh, he's got a whole load of uh, airbrushing there at the back. I don't know who these people are. Does anyone know who they are? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I think this guy is in from the Netherlands. JP Transport. Yeah, looks like a Netherlands registration. And then Faulkner and Sons. Another very clean 750 Volvo. 750 horses. Yeah, very clean truck. And then we have Ryan's there. With the S series as well. And the R650. Uh, as you can imagine, being invitation only, all these trucks are absolutely spotless. And McBurney's with the FM, mint condition as well. Oh, we've got a Iveco S-Way, long haul commercials there beside it as well. Very clean 2017 XP on the S-Way. Well done, Connor, the trucks are looking well. Old college there on the T high. Yeah, the, very nice guys. The DE13. How's it going for you? All right. Not bad. Very Just good. Ah, you've got a bunch of Renault T's as well, yeah. I think it's four or five here. Oh, four. And how many T highs? Oh, how many? It says company. Uh, four T highs. How many? Four, four T highs. highs. All right. One T480 and then the rest of eight wheelers. And they're going oh, well for you, yeah? Oh, I love them. All oh, together, all together, 19 Renaults. Good backup 19. service. Can't beat it. Five year warranty. We love oh, it. Yeah. We love That's it. That's what you want, a good That's warranty. It. Exactly. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Nice. Well done, you have this truck spotless, guys. Nice chassis work. Oh, this one has nice airbrushing on the back as well. The DAP, the CF, and the Foden. And then their Renault T there underneath. Well done, thanks lads. Well, Cheers. Yes. I think this uh, number plate is supposed to say Jesus, is it? I think so. <laughs> kind of looks like it. Very low to the ground. And BM Transport there. 
Very nice S series, guys. And Tierney's up from the south of Ireland. Up from Offaly. Their R series looking absolutely mint. Well done, lads. It's gone for the all blue interior. That is very well done on the inside. Let's have a look at the back wall. Chassis nice and smooth, perfect for slipping on your arse on. <laughs> I like the covers on the Susies as well. I need to get them in my truck as well. Just stops the Susies tangling up. Oh, what's this? Blue and green should never be seen except for on an Irish Colleen. Very good. Okay, we're continuing to walk through. Uh, we've got this really old here as well. I don't know what makes this is. What make truck is that? That is an Austin, guys. I don't know from what year this is. Oh, got a sign there. Old Austin truck. 142M. Also with the V8. And have a look what's beside it here. This Centurion. This truck. Wait until you see the interior on this. The big bar on the front as well. John M. Phillips. This truck is just unbelievable. I'll show you some of the restoration work that was done. Look at the airbrushing and all. Like, absolutely fantastic. Carpet and everything has been painted. Look, all the plastics. What a piece of work. Steering wheel has been changed. Smaller steering wheel. All the door cards, all leather covered, leather down here as well. That is just unbelievable. Centurion. Look at the diesel tanks. <laughs> you see yourself in them. And the stacks out the back. More airbrushing on the back there as well. Royal Centurion, it says. Look at the paintwork. Apparently, it took six weeks do all the airbrushing on this truck even on the back mud guards on the horse's legs and wow incredible guys incredible work I like the tire riding on the Michelin's the very same tires I put on the S580 recently but have a look at the restoration work done to this truck look at this look the whole cab off and the engine and all look all down her so this is how the truck looked when the present owner took delivery of the truck. So uh, yeah, just class to be able to see all those photos of the work and it has featured in a magazine. What's this from 1994? So the truck is from 1991. And yeah, fantastic. Let's have a look at the back there as well. The finish on the rear lamps. Yeah, so well done on that guys. The Royal Centurion definitely should get some sort of a prize for this truck. And another streamlined Scania there beside it. There's looking fantastic. Oh, how are you going on? Thanks very much. <laughs> well done, well done. And we have Barnet Transport up from the south of Ireland as well. Martin Ryan beside him with the R620. And P2 truck style there as well with their truck. Another 770S there as well. And a 650S. Fantastic airbrushing on the back of this as well. Have a look at this, look. Look at that. With the old 113M360. Well done. Really is some work on these trucks. Look at all the airbrushing on the back of this. Mercedes Actros and all the Scanias. Obviously all the previous trucks that this company owned as well. So and 580S down there as well. Okay. This is the Silver Griffin Scania. Uh, oh yeah, and down here as well we have... Uh, this is my first time actually seeing the new DAF XD. This is the police truck. 450 horsepower in this. Let's have a look in this. Okay, we've been kindly let inside the XD. So as I said already, this is the replacement for DAF's CF. This is the first time I've sat in to the XD. Yeah, so this bunk looks a bit set high. And yeah, obviously it's uh, 
lower truck so it's easier to climb in and out of and it has the window there on the passenger door and the camera mirrors as well so yeah nice truck you can't start up any of the trucks because you're indoors at the show but just a quick look around the XD okay plenty more trucks to show you here yeah tidy little cab on that and the R620 there MJ McGuinness is up from Kilkenny he's pulling the SDC trailer and he actually has one of these FKM exhausts now these are positioned underneath the cab so you don't have the stacks out the back but it does give you the sound that you would have from stacks and it all comes out of the original exhaust so the FKM exhaust is all positioned in here um, you probably won't be able to see it but it, it is in there it's too dark and he also got these pieces from Holland as well see the little fill pieces all around the arch there as well so nicely done from 2021 MJ McGuinness and he's got a couple of more trucks there as well so we need to roll on down this is Payne's truck uh, their truck also looking fantastic this is a Scania Centurion as well so yeah they built a hundred Centurions from 1991 I don't know how many years they were building them got the white steering wheel and all of the interior fixtures and fittings have all had something done to them in terms of covering and painting yeah that is very clean 143M 470 Penny Centurion and they have the classic Volvo F12 Turbo 6 I'm not sure what year this is I don't know where the owner is yeah the F12 20 uh, that's also in fantastic condition and the old Scania 141 right beside it any idea what year this Volvo is guys uh, no nobody I don't know where the owner of this truck is no idea huh? but yeah that's looking grand that's looking great lads and uh, Mackin's got Volvo FH there and he also has an F12 beside him also in fantastic condition yeah, there's an old FH12 there uh, from the early 90s I would think and a 143M beside it okay moving down I have to move down quickly guys because there is another haul I have to show you so let's just have a quick look at the interior and this the FH 500 <laughs> everything has been done to the inside of this as well yeah, now I have been given permission to hop up so that is nice of the owner oh he's got the tartan cover there on the mattress so that is uh, nicely done everything again all changed on the interior and the big steering wheel and also the door cards all done let's have a look at the back of the Volvo yeah, he's got the Viking ship there then that okay let's move on and 1983 1983 thanks this man told me yeah so the F12 there is from 1983 so we bought an F10 back in 1989 but that's from 1983 yeah so even older than the one that we bought in 1988 and we have Stephen Mullen there from Sligo they're after buying a brand new DAF yeah and Amigo International there as well their Scania S series yeah so this man's over from Scotland it seems yeah Jamie Scott from Scotland and then oh yeah I must show you the interior of this as well let's have a look at this Scania quickly have a look 124L on this okay yeah they've got the uh, it's like a pink metallic this man's doing something here on this truck but yeah it's a 
pretty nice in the interior and an all painted airbrushing look at that look all down here on the plastic holder there on the door yeah, not all treasure is silver and gold made nice work on that place. let's have a look at the back of this see what oh they have a, a skull <laughs> the two swords Birds of the Caribbean. And the stacks there as well. Well done, lads. All right. The R Hi. Series Scania there beside it. Premier Solutions. So it's got the two ladders there up on top. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's uh, move quickly down here, guys. And yeah, there's a. Oh, wait until you see the T cab okay, down here. The video on YouTube. All right, guys. All right. It's a 4 Series here, the T164. The restoration on this truck, absolutely incredible. It's inside in the book here. All of the work that they did to this truck. It's just unbelievable, the restoration. Just look at this truck. I mean, I can't see one speck of dirt in it. Even down to the mud guards. I mean, can you even see any dirt on it? <laughs> How? This guy is definitely going to win something on this. He's got to win something on it. Absolutely mint. Yeah, well done. Fantastic really restoration. Ah, oh, it's been a big project, How mate. How long were you restoring this? Six years. Six years? Yeah, six years of dedication, Jeez. mate. Yeah, yeah. Now, did you yeah. clean the wiper blades? Oh, you can <laughs> come and check them out. Look, oh my you? God! Sarah, you, <laughs> he wants me to oh, run the fingers down the blades. Oh my blades. God, lads, hey. look. Are you oh, serious? Hey. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. It's so clean. <laughs> That's unreal, guys. He has to win something because of that now. The wiper hey. blades and all are clean, look. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that rumor true that some... Some, it was down to two trucks at some show and they they did exactly that. Ran their fingers down the blades of some oh, truck. Oh, in the UK you think they put the fingers at back at holes and stuff like I that. I mean, you what's know? going on in the ah, world? Crazy, uh, man, crazy. Either the truck is working or it's not working. <laughs> huh? No, that's fantastic. Well done. Cheers, Paul. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. He's got a, an old vintage truck airbrushed on the back there as well Holdridge transport okay that's uh that's one of the halls guys we're just going to take you into another hall and this man here is selling power washers he's got a three phase single phase um electric jet so contact them this power washer here is only seven and a half grand so yeah and it never gives any trouble and the hoses never burst i mean it's fantastic huh I, I still dream of a power washer like that. <laughs> okay, we've got an American Peterbilt there. And we've got the F16. And over here we've got the FH Volvo. Let me just show you the interior of the F16, the Globetrotter. Um, it is spotless, of course. <laughs> Would it be anything but spotless? We've got the upper bunk as well. All the genuine pattern on the Volvo of this era and the curtains and all. Genuine, fantastic. And yeah, we're just gonna hop into this and have a look after this guy. Uh, he's got the Globetrotter painted on the back as well. Sorry to have to shout over the music, but yeah, they've got the trailer looking fantastic. Got the curtain cider. Uh, pretty nice, lads. Lovely piece of work. Let's see, can I hop up here and have a look inside? Oh, he's next. I don't know what the 83 is. What's the 83 on the front for, lads? I don't know. They also have it on the door. I don't know what the significance of 83 is. And they've got a... Uh, what is this? Is this for some jam or something? I don't know what that is. Oh, this little, uh, little man sitting on the roof there. But nicely done with the Volvo sign on the front as well. All backlit. Pretty nice. Yes, his fifth wheel cover. I have a quick look inside. Yeah, he's got the red lights all over. Oh, nicely done. All the cabinets there. 
And oh, he's got a table there with a big plank of wood sitting on a keg. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice work, guys. Well done. Okay, guys, have a look inside the DAF, the XG Plus. We've got the fully customized interior here. And let me just move back before all that copyright music starts again. We've got eight axles because you can detach. You can see at the back there to offload two 20 foot on the XG Plus. So this is in from the Netherlands. Great work done to that. But the interior, the amount of money spent on it, guys. 25, 35 grand, huge money. And then we have uh, BN Cecil and Sons there with their DAF as well. Loads more Scania's down here. And yeah, it's, oh yeah, this one is a, uh, oh, this is the Volvo. The bull nose Volvo. I think Glass Chewin make these as well. This is Malcolm's truck. And check out their R Series Scania beside it there as well. The interior on that is incredible. Absolutely fantastic work done to that. And BM Transport there as well. We've seen that down at Douala before the show was cancelled and they had to be pulled out of all the mud. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's have a quick look inside the Malcolm truck here and look at the work done to this on the interior so this is noah's cab interiors absolutely unbelievable what these trucks are kitted out look at this everything has been changed on the interior just unreal an snt with their s series manfred with their old 420 FH and their 750 their flagship truck there as well living the dream and oh, the old Scania 111 as well yeah. just unreal the lineup of trucks down here another FH 16 750 beside it so two 750 Volvos there yeah. looking good Okay, let's, uh, another one, <laughs> three of them. So there's just loads and loads of Scanias down here. Centurions, um, old FH Volvos. Yeah, let's move down here and let's have a look. This looks like an old FH 12, I think it is. From McCroy's, McCrory, sorry, McCrory. Now let's have a look in the interior of this. Remind ourselves how the old FHs look used to look like. Yeah, it's got all the lights up there, the quilted ceiling finish as well. Um, yeah, the steering wheel there. Big metal steering wheel. All right, guys, well done. Well, FH looking well. It's an FH12, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Be a while cleaning that, lads. <laughs> good. And a nice back cross there beside it. 530. From Dempsey's of Cork. So they've come up a bit of a distance to the show, alright. Dempsey's. But you'll have to admit, lads, as we look at the R580 there, that is some lineup of trucks in the two sheds. And yeah, nice rigid truck there as well. The R620, a <laughs> tiny little Bedford truck. NDR's little Bedford. Yeah, let's uh, let's quickly walk over here. We've got uh, Keedwell with their Renault T High and the 143M 450 oh, beside it. All right, lads. James McCarthy with his Volvo FH and the S series as well. Another Renault T High and a bunch more Scanias and Dennehy with their 750 Volvo. Now I did a test drive of this truck. Click on this link up here if you want to see that test drive. Okay, we've got Shaw's commercial here with their T High 480. This is the turbo compound. 4x2, we're going to hop in and give you a look. 
Shaw commercials. Now we did buy two Schmitz trailers off Shaw's. So I'm going to be showing you around them in another video. And yeah, we have the upper bunk there and the really bright ceiling lamps there and the air conditioning pod. Yeah, plenty of light in the T highs. So yeah, with a flat floor, of course. So contact Shaw's if you're interested in the Renault T highs and the T series. Will another one be joining the Rory Lynch transport fleet? Who knows? I tell you one thing, guys, I wouldn't like to be a judge here trying to judge all of these trucks. They're all in immaculate condition. The amount of work these guys put into cleaning these trucks. I mean, we came in at 10 and it's now nearly half two and they're still cleaning the trucks. So the judges go around today and tomorrow to judge these trucks. But even if you are cleaning your truck when the judges arrive, they actually take that into account. But they were telling me that these judges go underneath the trucks with torches looking for dirt. So, like, I, I don't know. I wouldn't like to be a judge anyway. No way. But lads, I'm going to leave you all there from the Drifter Style Truck Show here in the Icon Exhibition Centre in Lisburn in Northern Ireland. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I'll be back again for another one. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers! Okay, guys, there seems to be a very bad trend going around in Ireland where you have a hairstyle like this. <laughs> it's called a mullet. And I just asked this guy, is he, you need a moustache, and he just told me he's growing it. Oh, lads, here, I don't know. Ooh, yeah. <laughs>